Today, let's make a wonderful Indo-Chinese recipe and this one is burnt garlic chicken fried rice. Hey guys, it's me, the Bombay Chef Gordon Amdar and welcome to Get Curry. Let's begin. First things first, let's begin with heating a wok on high flame and to this, we're going to add in vegetable oil. We can of course begin with a little more oil because this is the oil that's going to be used for frying the garlic. The same oil later can also be used as garlic oil as a wonderful drizzle over pastas and pizzas. Remember that. The oil is heated up. Let's add in chopped garlic. We stir this on high flame. And then once the garlic starts getting color, we reduce the flame because that will help in making it nice and crisp and will also ensure that the garlic does not burn. Let's transfer the oil and the garlic in the bowl. Well, this garlic is also going to continue cooking further in the same hot oil. So ensure that you remove it at the right time. And also, if you're looking at a nice deep golden color, remove this when it is just about to turn golden brown in color because it'll continue cooking here. And then, you know, there's a very small difference between burnt garlic. Well, we call it burnt garlic, but that does not mean necessarily that you have to burn the garlic. It means crisp golden brown colored bits of garlic. Remember that. For this recipe, I'm going to take the same oil because of course, by now that has a lot of flavor of the burnt garlic of course, and this needs to be kept aside. The wok is hot enough. Let's add in red onions, which are roughly cut. While this is cooking on high flame, I'm also going to start cutting the spring onions. Of course, the whites of the onions now and the greens would go in later. Let's add in the white onions to this as well and increase the flame to a full whack. Let's toss this on high flame. And with this, I'm going to add in mushrooms, which are completely optional in this case. But I personally love mushrooms in this recipe. So I'm adding in button mushrooms. Along with this, chicken. Now this is boiled cubed chicken, which is of course boneless and breast meat. And along with this, green chilies, which are again completely optional. Time to add in seasonings. Let's begin with salt. Along with this, freshly cracked black pepper. Along with light soy sauce. Give this a quick mix. Once this is stir fried and ready, the next ingredient is your hero ingredient and that is rice. Now, you can choose between short grain and long grain rice depending on what you prefer. Well, I have used short grain for this recipe. Ideally, even leftover rice works perfectly well for something like this. In case you're using fresh rice, then make it at least an hour before, cool it down completely and only then put it to use. Let's add this to the stir fry mix. Along with this, I'm going to add in half the quantity of fried garlic. And along with this, half the quantity of spring greens. Let's mix all of this together and remember a fact, 
that this recipe needs to be cooked only on high flame because if the flame gets reduced this will become sluggish and almost mushy Let's serve this. Finally, let's garnish this with some more spring greens along with burnt garlic. Well, this one is the easiest way to make burnt garlic chicken fried rice at home. Stay tuned for more such quick, simple and easy recipes exclusively on Get Curried. Bye for now.